Hello, our names are Nathan Horst and Hunter Walden, and today we'll be using a truck to demonstrate the effects of inertia. According to our Physics for Scientists and Engineers textbook, inertia is defined as the tendency of an object to resist change in its velocity. Here are a few examples of this principle in action. To demonstrate this principle property, we used a truck to do donuts in an open, slick field. The friction between the tires and the ground surface was reduced due to the mud on the field. Therefore, we were able to demonstrate the effects of inertia easier. When doing a donut, as the truck spins, the direction the truck faces constantly changes. The truck revolves around one wheel in the front, which acts as the axis point. In the middle of a donut, the direction that the truck is facing is the direction the truck would continue with that constant speed if there were no other forces acting on it, as described in Newton's law of inertia. Because there is friction in our example, the direction does change. Let's look at this video clip in full speed, and then we will slow it down and talk about it in more detail. At this moment, without any other forces acting on it, the truck would continue in the direction shown by the arrow. Again, at this moment, the truck would continue in the direction shown by the arrow without any other forces acting. Here is a free body diagram illustrating the truck at the moment shown by the first arrow. There are four forces, the normal force from the ground, the weight force from the car, and then friction force going against the applied force of the throttle from the truck. Here is a free body diagram showing the truck at the moment shown by the second arrow. The car is now traveling in the positive x-axis direction. The forces are the same as before, although the friction force and applied forces are in opposite directions. Here is another example of inertia. When the truck makes a left-hand turn, the water bottle ideally wants to continue in the same direction that the truck was going before the turn. The fault in our experiment, however, is a slight curvature in the bench, which caused the water bottle to hit the backrest. But ideally, the water bottle would have continued to roll until it hit the door. We hope that you have learned something about inertia, especially when applied to doing donuts in a truck. Thank you for watching.